Heather Hepburn, Head of Accessibility. Empathy labs are places where we simulate different disabilities and we have set up a lot of technology there so we've got laptops around the room, we've got phones and the idea is that um, our Skyscanner employees can sit down and really see things from a different viewpoint, be in someone else's shoes that they might not have ever considered before. By doing it we really want people to leave with a ah, I didn't know it was like that for some people, um, what can I do to change? So we've got some information in there as well that um, highlights what they can do in their daily jobs to make our products more accessible to people with disabilities, but also what they're doing internally, so to make everything more accessible for our staff. Griff Coates, software engineer. I'm an accessibility user myself, so I'm quite passionate about making accessibility for all. Um, I just don't want someone to get left behind like I did when I was younger, so I find it really important to, as working in the company to give that powerful voice to people that don't have it. Sarah Clark, software engineer. It's been super insightful to see all the different challenges that people with different disabilities uh, have. Simon Ward, software engineer. The factor about things about things are temporary and how things are permanent. Um, it, it's not it's not something I was very aware of and I can't imagine that many other people are aware of it too, the fact that you can be temporarily disabled such as having a broken arm or whatever, which would really stop you doing things that you're very used to, like uh, using a mouse or, or any other type of computer. So yeah, just things like that, that, that um, you don't really realise that you are more affected by these things or perhaps will be in the future. And uh, yeah, it's, it's humbling in that way. Eileen Nodgers, product designer. And I just think that everybody needs to experience our products from these different angles um, just to understand how people experience the world, how they experience online, which we all take for granted and we all can use it and find the information we need or get the tasks done that we need, but actually for some people they can't do that. A company that's inclusive like Skyscanner, we don't want to uh, disregard people. Everybody should be able to travel and enjoy the world. So no matter whether you're engineering or design, um, internal comms, I think everybody can do their bit.